Good morrow, actors. Lindsay from So Why So Young Shakespeare program here. And today is our final day. We are going to be performing our final scene for our parents or our friends or whoever is there to watch you. So for today, you'll need your final scene script, which looks like this, and the crown that you designed for your costume. Today, before we do our performance, Jed is going to show us some actions that we can add to Titania's lines because do actors just stand still when they're performing? No, they move around. We're going to add some movements to our lines. And Miss Alyssa is going to show us some actions for Oberon's lines. Now you can do the same actions that they do or you can make up your own. It's up to you. Then we're gonna put it all together for our final performance. Let's get started. Hey everyone, it's time to put some actions to our Oberon lines. We already know from our work with Miss Caitlin that um, Oberon in this first line is speaking to Puck and he's saying, seest thou this sweet sight? They are looking at Titania. So one of the actions we could do is we could bring Puck in here and show him Titania. Ready, should we try it all together? Ready? Seest thou this sweet sight? Yeah, let's try it one more time. Let's try it one more time. We've still got our we still got our Oberon body on. I needed that reminder to put my Oberon body on. And he's so powerful, but also he's very amused at this point. Seest thou this sweet sight? Ah, okay, the next line is her dotage now I do begin to pity. He's starting to feel a little bad. So what kind of action could we do to show? that he's feeling kind of bad here. Hmm, sometimes when I regret something, I might, I might get a little smaller or I might, ooh, ooh, oh, I'm sorry I did that. I didn't mean to, ah, uh, oh, I feel bad. So let's see if we can put that action on the line somewhere, yes? And if you have another action that's, that is something that you do when you feel bad, you should totally use that. This is, these are all suggestions to help you. So if you have a better one, Definitely use it. Okay, here we go. Her dotage now, I do begin to pity. Hmm. I will undo this hateful imperfection of her eyes. And that's a new idea, right? This is a new idea. I feel bad. I'm going to take the spell off. And I, I actually already did it. Aha, I have an idea. Okay, here we go. We're going to say, I will undo this hateful imperfection of her eyes. We're gonna do a couple of actions. I'm gonna do, I had an idea, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that imperfection away. Here we go. I will undo this hateful imperfection of her eyes. Nice, good job everyone. Okay, next line. And think no more of this night's accidents, but as the fierce vexation of a dream. So we know that he's saying, she's not even gonna remember, she's just gonna think she had this weird dream about falling in love with a donkey man. Okay, here we go. Uh, some actions. Hmm. Think no more, think no more. I want her to stop thinking about it. So think no more, I'm gonna ask her to stop. This is my stop gesture, you might have a different one. That's great. Um, think no more of this night's accidents, all of everything that happened to, think no more about it. We're gonna think no more of this night's accidents. This is what I'm gonna use. Um, but as the fierce vexation of a dream. I like to think of dreams as, as living above my head. So I'm gonna think the fierce vexation of a dream. Here we go, we're gonna put it all together. Do you have your three movements, your three actions? I've got mine, let's try it all together. And think no more of this night's accidents, but as the fierce vexation of a dream. After I did that, I realized fierce vexation is such a good phrase. Um, and it makes a dream into a nightmare, right? So I'm gonna try it again, because I can, because we can, it's fun. This is part of what rehearsal is. We do it over and over and over and over again. Um, I'm gonna do it again. I think no more of this night's accidents, but it's the fierce vexation of the dream. And I'm going to make a fierce vexation of a dream. Um, what can make that? 
seem like a nightmare. I'm gonna, instead of, instead of living up here and being positive, ooh, fierce vexation, a nightmare. I don't want that one. So I'm gonna try it again. Here we go. And think no more of this night's accidents, but as the fierce vexation of a dream. Nice, good job everybody. Here we go. Now we get to cast our spell. I gotta admit, I always wanna do a spell like this, but spells can be anything, right? Maybe your Oberon has a wand, boop. Maybe your Oberon has a staff, boom. And he uses that to um, cause magic to fly everywhere. I like to think of it in his fingers because it's just there's something really exciting to me about fingers crackling with magic. So I am going to um, say, be as thou wast want to be. That's, that's a pretty general, like go back to the way you were. The second line's more specific, right? See as thou wast want to see. So I'm gonna do a general, I'm gonna do a general spell this way and I'm gonna do a very specific eye spell this way. Ready? Do you have yours? Okay, here we go. Be as thou wast want to be, see as thou wast want to see. Nice, good job everybody. One more line. Now my Titania, wake you my sweet queen. What do you do when you wanna wake someone up? Sometimes I yell. <laughs> so that's always a choice, right? We can use our voices can help with our actions. Um, but uh, get up, get up off the floor. <laughs> I'm just assuming she's on the floor. She does say she sleeps in flowers, so that might be why I think that. Um, but I'm gonna use my voice to call her and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage her to get up using my body, this action of, okay, let's get up. Here we go, ready? Now my Titania, wake you my sweet queen. Yeah, let's try and put everything together. Ready, here we go, okay. Let me see if I remember all my actions. That was a lot of actions we just did. If you forget one or two, that's fine. We're just gonna play and go. If you think of a new one in the middle of your line, totally awesome. Here we go. Seest thou this sweet sight? Her dotage now I do begin to pity. I will undo this hateful imperfection of her eyes and think no more on this night's accidents but as the fierce vexation of a dream. Be as thou wast want to be. See as thou wast want to see. Now my Titania, wake you my sweet queen. Good job everyone. Now our story is getting clearer and clearer and clearer. We got our costumes, we got our lines, we know what we're saying and we're using our movements to push the story forward. Now it's time to add some action to Titania's line. So looking over at her lines, let's pick three places we can add some action. I think my first one will be when I say, come, sit thee down upon this flowery bed. I'll motion for the other character to come and sit on the flowery bed. The second action is when I say, Wilt thou hear some music, my sweet love? And finally, my third action, I think I'll do sleep thou and I will wind thee in my arms. Let's try it. Come, sit thee down upon this flowery bed while I thy amiable cheeks do coy and stick musk roses in thy sleek smooth head and kiss thy fair large ears, my gentle joy. What, wilt thou hear some music, my sweet love? Or say, sweet love, what thou desirest to eat? Sleep thou, and I will wind thee in my arms. Oh, how I love thee, how I dote on thee. Now that we've added actions to our lines, Let's learn our cues. When you see Jed enter as Titania looking like this, that's your cue for Titania's lines to start. When Titania's speaking, we'll see Caitlin playing Nick Bottom, which looks like this. 
Then, when you see Alyssa come in as Oberon, which looks like this, it's Oberon's turn to start speaking. Let's try it one time through for rehearsal. Come, sit thee down upon this flowery bed, while I thy amiable cheeks do coy, and stick musk roses in thy sleek, smooth head, and kiss thy fair, large ears, my gentle joy. What, wilt thou hear some music, my sweet love? Or say, sweet love, what thou desirest to eat? Sleep thou, and I will wind thee in my arms. Oh, how I love thee, how I dote on thee. Seest thou this sweet sight? Her dotage now I do begin to pity. I will undo this hateful imperfection of her eyes, and think no more of this night's accidents, but as the fierce vexation of a dream. Be as thou wast wont to be, see as thou wast wont to see. Now, my Titania, wake you, my sweet queen. That was great. If you'd like to rehearse again, you can go back to the beginning of that section and play it as many times as you want. If you're ready to do your final performance, then let's go ahead and get started. If you're not wearing your crown yet, now's a great time to put it on. And if you have a family member or friend in your house that you want to watch you perform your Shakespeare play, now's the time to pause this video and go get them. Let's put it all together. work actors. Like any actor at the end of a final scene, it's time to take your best bow or curtsy. Let's see it in three, two, one. Thank you so much for joining us with the So Wise So Young Shakespeare program. If you enjoyed doing that final performance, you can rewatch this video and do it again as many times as you want. Until next time, fare thee well. For more educational Shakespeare videos, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to turn on notifications.